Hello Ratbags, it's Joe Plays Games. Welcome to a special edition of the Access Show. Brand new, improved, I'm giving you the lowdown on everything you need to know about early access games, brand new games, and updates for your favorite games you guys are playing. Xbox One, PS4, and PC. I'm gonna be giving you a lowdown every single day with the Access Show. Today, we've got two Access Shows. This is gonna be the first one because this couldn't wait till five o'clock. Day Z on console is finally happening. I told you guys about three months ago that they were finally getting ready to launch Day Z on Xbox. It looks like that time has finally come. I've got information about the testing they're doing, how select people have got access to it already, and when maybe we can expect that everyone will be able to get a chance to play the beta. If you don't know, Day Z is coming to early access on Xbox One not for PS4 until the full release, unless PlayStation do some sort of deal or they decide to release their own early access program. But finally, all them people that said Daisy was dying, what is dead can never be alive or, or maybe rising from the living whatever metaphor you want to call it daisy is live it's thriving it's even doing really good on PC again. Let's talk about Daisy coming the rise again. Okay, it all kicked off for me this morning when Guy with a Gun, one of my rat bags in Discord, posted a screenshot saying that he had seen Daisy on Xbox One. After a bit of investigation and some more screenshots, it's true. It's currently available on Xbox One in a closed beta test for developers to test it and people that work for Microsoft. Now, in this tweet, it says closed testing on Xbox Insiders has started. We are going to have more information for you guys very soon. This is from the official Daisy. Twitter page. If you don't know, it's been promised for such a long time. In fact, when the Xbox Early Access program started nearly three, four years ago, DayZ was meant to be one of the first games that would appear on it. But of course, it's had a very troubled development. The actual main base game of DayZ on PC has undergone significant changes and they've changed even the engine they used to make the game. That's what's caused so many delays, not to mention developers leaving and all sorts of issues and problems restructuring the game. But DayZ is up on the rise. Now, if you was getting really hopeful about being on the Xbox Insider program, which allows you to test Microsoft and Xbox for new features, be lucky. It's not actually available for everyone on the Insider program. It is still in closed testing. But people have seen even Larry Herb, the guy that runs basically Xbox Live or presents a lot of the stuff to do with it, playing the game, as well as a bunch of other Xbox devs. They're all giving it a go. Daisy is live and kicking, and it looks like it's going to be coming out in the very next few weeks. They are going to come up with some more information later. I will keep you guys up to date. I will do another video talking about it, or it may even go in tomorrow's access show at 5 p.m. So what can you expect when it does hit Xbox One? Well, they're looking at 50 to 60 FPS in 1080p on Xbox One X, and they plan to support 4K gaming at 30 FPS. This is a massive improvement for DayZ, and particularly for console gaming as well. Getting a game in 4K where other developers just haven't managed it yet is massive news. They did show off Daisy at ID Xbox GDC 18, and believe it or not, this was a good few months ago in March. Since then, we've had absolutely no information, no news about what was happening with the game. It gone really silent, and everyone was getting really worried. It does look like they were focusing on the PC version that they've been working on and making sure that was up to date. Who knows how many people have actually gotten the Xbox Live team doing it? But the likelihood is they maybe hit a snag that they found on PC, and maybe that affected the Xbox One version. The fact it was in a playable state, as well as outside Xbox got a chance to play and they showcased a good 20 minute demo of the single player. There is going to be single player for the game as well, there's going to be up to 60 players on every server. As you can see from these screenshots, it is available on the Xbox Store at the moment for people, developers. You do need a code to act currently to access it, but it is going to be available by looks of things for everyone on the Insider program. So DayZ are definitely following in the footsteps of Vigor. If you don't know what Vigor is, I've been playing it on my channel for the last few weeks. It's made by Bohemia Interactive, the same people that make DayZ. They have launched exclusively on Xbox One and it will remain an Xbox One exclusive. They've had a close behind beta test and have just launched yesterday in a founders pack. It's going to be a free to play game. It's a loot, shoot and scoot style game. You basically go into these maps on counters and the idea is that you get loot to upgrade your base that is off the map. You can be killed at any time and you lose your loot. So it's got very 
similar mechanics to DayZ, but it is an entirely different game. It's not a battle royale, but it was really surprising that Vigor came ahead of DayZ, particularly as we'd seen lots of gameplay from DayZ, like I said, from some of the expo shows, whereas Vigor just appeared out of nowhere. So it was a bit strange that Bohemia would put a lot of money and effort into Vigor coming first before DayZ, but it looks like they both had them running and they both had plans for them both coming out this summer. And I reckon DayZ is going to go down the same path. We'll probably get a closed beta just for the Xbox Insider people for the next few weeks. And then maybe towards the end of August, they'll open it up for everyone to purchase and buy. Don't forget though, it's still going to be an early access game. Now, Vigor is going to be free to play in 2019. The only way you can play it now, though, is by buying the Founders Pack. But of course, DayZ is a fully purchased game. Now, the game is around $22.99 on Steam. I reckon it's going to probably be around the same price. Don't forget, even on PC, DayZ has still not left early access. And that has got it a bad reputation. The game is nearly five years old at this point. It's been on development a long time. It's had multiple different creators come and go and showrunners almost trying to get the game into the right, correct state, but it's taken this long. So should it matter? Well, yes, because there still isn't a fantastic, great survival game like this on consoles, particularly. There's lots of things like this on PC now, and lots of brand new games seem to be coming up, and they're gonna be even better than DayZ by the looks of them, the way they look and the way they run. Including this one, Dead Matter is in development at the moment, it's just got its funding through Kickstarter and it's looking like it's come to PC and Steam in around November, December time in closed alphas, hopefully start 2019. But when you compare the graphics, when you look at the open world nature of this stuff, very similar properties but it just looks absolutely fantastic. Now DayZ does have some pretty moments, definitely the landscapes are really nice when I played it on PC the other week, but there are definitely still some games out there that can give it a run for its money. Money. So DayZ definitely needs to come out very soon to really stay ahead of any competition that may overtake it in the future. But DayZ was one of the first that started off the trend of survival games and it's one of the first that started off the trend of zombies. Really popularised it I should say. Now Rust has been doing fantastically well, that's another open world server setting game where you follow and you take on other people. But DayZ is definitely a little bit more special. You can obviously be killed at any moment by another player or you can be taken on by the zombies. It is a hardcore game, I got my chance to finally play it for the first time properly on PC a few weeks ago and my gosh it's a lot more hardcore than you would think. I'm wondering if they've dumbed it down a little bit for Xbox. Oh, well, I should say not dumped it down, but made it a little bit easier to use the controls. That's probably the most fiddly aspect of playing DayZ. Maybe not even the mechanics or the hardcore nature where you've got different pockets and you've really got to think about your whether or not you're wet and how much food you've got. It's more a case of have they got the controls right for console. If they've managed to do that well, if they've got decent shortcuts for it, I can really see DayZ taking off on console because it's something we still just don't have a lot of. Put in the comments section if you agree with me or disagree with me. There are still going to be lots of salty people wondering where their DayZ game has been for all this time. Maybe they backed it at the very beginning and they've seen it go from bad to worse. But DayZ in the last few months has really gained a good reputation. They've started to really improve things. They've had open betas and they've had experimental betas on the PC that have implemented loads of different changes as well as a brand new animation system for the characters and just lots and lots of good stuff. It's looking like DayZ will come into beta this year and it's looking like it may even be a finished arm article very soon. That is an incredible achievement after all the problems Daisy has had, but it really is starting to look like it might actually start happening. Now, in the Steam reviews, there are still a lot of salty people really not giving it maybe a chance, maybe because they've just fed up with playing it and hearing about the new changes. But for console, it is a different matter. It really will be something unique on console. I don't think there's many games out there like that. The only thing I could think of would be Seven Days to Die, and Seven Days to Die at the moment is still very janky and probably not worth your time on console unless you're a real hardcore survival nut. I am super hyped about DayZ. It's definitely something I want to play, and I can't wait to try it on console. The minute I get a chance, I am in the Insider program. I'll see what I can do and get gameplay to you guys and expect some coverage of this on my channel. I know a lot of you guys have been looking forward to it in Discord as well. So if you want to talk about everything DayZ, come and join Discord. This is where all the information we've got at the moment about it coming out and if you want to ask any more questions, come talk to the guys. Maybe you'll be able to find people to go on the servers with. Like I said, it's looking likely there's going to be up to 60 players per server, 4K graphics as well as the option to turn it down or have it better at 1080p. It's going to be really interesting to see what happens with DayZ in the next few weeks.
So what do you guys think about that? Daisy's coming to Xbox One at last. If I get any more information about it possibly ever coming to the PS4, we do know it is coming, but it's not going to happen until either the game comes out of early access or PlayStation implement their own early access program. I'm going to give you some guides and talk to you all about Daisy in the next few weeks. So make sure you've got notifications turned on. Make sure you've come and joined Discord. And every single day at 5 p.m. normally, you've got the access show giving you brand new information about brand new games, early access games, as well as updates. Coming up later on, I've got a look at Sea of Thieves, the latest DLC coming out for that, and Egress, a Dark Souls Battle Royale game. I'm going to be talking about that one too. I am Jay Plays Games. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Make sure you've liked the video, and I'll see you right back to another access show very soon. Bye-bye.